Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome to the Escapist. So, I am in a little bit of a pickle right now, if you can't tell by these cell bars on my window. Uh, <laughs> I've been chucked in the slammer. It's all because somebody thought it'd be funny to swat Yogg Towers. They sent the cops in, turns out we've all got a couple of skeletons in our closet, and we've been put away for it. So I'm going to introduce you to every single member of the Yogg's cast who have found themselves inside of here with me. But first, we need to show you how the hell we plan to escape this prison of sorts. So I'm going to play as the character Martin, with a blonde hair we're going to click continue and this is the tutorial i'm going to blast through this really really quickly i've played this tutorial about 20 times and i've played the easy level which is what we're going to start with uh, a good few times i spent like an hour on it i've yet to even get close to breaking out of prison so this is why i need your hints and tips as to how to do it so you wake up in the morning feeling like p diddy you're going to hit the city with kesha it's going to be good uh, you've got a desk you can pick up with right click it's your wazdas to move about uh, you're going to slam the desk down and inside of it, we've got a screwdriver, which is handy. And we've also got a sock. <laughs> so, so that's good. So I'm going to jump up on the desk. And I'm going to use the screwdriver on the vent to unscrew it, get rid of it. And we can now climb up into the air vents, which is very, very cool. So we make our way over to one of our fellow inmates' cells. And uh, now these aren't the actual ones from the series that you're going to be watching. These are just like randomized ones. So this is Durden. <laughs> What kind of name is Durden? Anyway, uh, what's Durden got in his desk? Let's have a little nosy. Nothing. You got nothing in your desk. What's he selling? He's selling a... Oh, he's selling a soap. Okay, cool. So what we can do is we can put the soap and the sock together. And we get ourselves a sock mace. So we can like swing it around and just clock somebody on the head. And the best person to clock on the head, I think, would be uh, this prison guard right here. Officer Fragile. <laughs> That's a perfect name for this. So if I press the space bar, my cursor goes into hostile mode. If I target this guy, and when he stands next to me, it KOs him in one shot. He's a fragile little babby. He's weak like little babby. So anyway, I'm going to take his clothes off him, so I leave him there butt naked. Can I actually kill Durden as well? Can I do it? Oh, it won't let me take out Durden. Never mind. So let me get Starkers as well. I can run around the prison completely naked, which I absolutely love. Uh, and it means that I can actually throw on the guard outfit and be completely unrecognizable to the Officer Loiter. <laughs> Good. Officer Blaze and Officer Slack. Wow. These two have very authoritative names, don't they? They strike the fear into the hearts of any prisoner that dare slack off whilst they're on duty. All right, so you saw we got to the fence. We've gone down into a little hole, and now we've actually got a shovel, which we're going to use to bust out the other side. So we clear the debris. We can stand here, and then we can actually dig a hole, which goes upwards and out of the prison. And then we're free. It's perfect. So now all we've got to do is do that, but without being handed every tiny little detail going into it. So we're going to start on center perks. This is the very easy prison. So I should be able to do this. Probably not in one episode. Uh, we're going to probably going to do these episodes by days as you actually live out days inside of the game. Uh, so I'm going to click on continue and we're going to randomize and stop. There you go. All right. That's our prison lineup, everybody. So, let me introduce you to the first cellmate. Uh, this, everybody, is not Bentley. This is Toby. Now, Toby's crime was pretty horrendous, actually. A lot of lives were lost. Uh, Toby said the word, wow, at such a volume and frequency that the cement bricks that were holding down a building structure just crumbled into dust, meaning the whole building came down and it was an orphanage. Terrible, terrible crime that he would never be released for. All right, next up on the list... It's a man that needs no introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. It's Shin Hashtag, apparently. <laughs> I'm keeping the hashtag in balls to it. So uh, Shin's crime, not too terrible, but it could actually destroy the whole planet. Uh, Shin broke into a factory. He stole a mahogany door. That shouldn't surprise anybody. What should surprise people is that it was actually from the Monsters, Inc. factory, which means there is unknown potential of destruction and chaos and power behind this door. And after tons of interrogation, he still won't tell them where he hid it. And now he's been held indefinitely. Right next to Shin, we have his partner in crime. It's Sips. So Sips is actually in for a not too bad reason. He didn't do anything horrible. He just filled out the wrong paperwork when he moved from Canada to Jersey, where I've just decided this prison is based. Uh, he didn't fill out the right forms, which means he can't ever leave and he can't go out into the general public. He has to stay inside of this prison forever. 
so just beneath Sips, we've got somebody you probably already have guessed who it's going to be. Big Beard. He's not really balding, but <laughs> but this is Simon, everybody. Uh, he was involved with a high-speed Jaffa heist a couple of weeks back. They never caught him for it. So when they came into the office the other day and busted down the door, he started screaming like a little girl, thinking that they'd worked out it was him, and he admitted to everything straight away, and now he's serving two years. So right next door to Simon uh, is a man that has actually had his crimes documented on video, unlicensed use of a minigun and setting fire to an entire factory. Smith is in the prison. The second in our trio of prisoners uh, is Ross. So Ross went away, not really for a too big of a crime. This is why we're in the easy prison. It's pretty cushy in here. He just did a lot of petty theft, a lot of shoplifting of Kinder chocolates. They caught him, they chucked him in the slammer. Now this is probably the one that I feel worst for. Uh, this prisoner came in just on a visitation day and as he was trying to leave, they thought he was actually trying to escape the prison because they've been pretty paranoid for a while now, the guards. So they ended up putting cuffs on Trot and chucking him in the cell as well. So this prisoner I don't think will surprise anybody. Uh, they have cheated so many times in games against me that it finally caught up to them. It's bit them on the arse. Daniel Nerd Cubed is in prison. Mr. Hardcastle is behind bars. Oh, how the tables have turned for our last prisoner. They used to be a cop. They used to be part of the magic police of all things until they were found smuggling fairy dust. Duncan has been thrown into prison. I'm sorry to say. Right, let's do it. Let's start the game and we're heading in to Central Perks. Dear Martin, welcome to Center Perks, the most comfortable low security prison in the county. On behalf of all of the staff here, we wish you a happy and relaxing visit. Should you get bored of the complimentary cable TV, we pride ourselves in many of our engaging activities around the grounds. And that's from Warden Patrick Garrett. So Mr. Garrett is the top dog in this prison. Uh, I'm actually currently recovering some fatigue so you've got a couple of settings in the top left corner. You've got fatigue, which is basically if you do more things, you get a bit more knackered. You've got uh, heat, so if you get into a lot of trouble or you do things that aren't part of the normal day-to-day -day schedule, they're going to have a go at you about it. I've got my health and also some cash as well. Uh, do I want to get anything out of here? I'm going to take a comb and some soap because people in this prison are obsessed with comb shivs. I don't know why. Whoa, don't tell me to pick up the pace. I'm just going to quickly see what Sips wants me to do for him. See, it's straight away, <laughs> first thing, the comb shift quest comes up so much. When I say quest, it's a favor. So I'm going to grab that. If I get the comb and scratch it on a wall, it becomes a shift. It's really simple. It's really cool. Although it did take me ages to learn how to do that. Because like I said, I've only played like an hour of this game so far. So I know very little about it. But there is our first $20 earned. What does Dan want me to do? Another comb shift, of course. Right, let's find out what Toby's selling. Toby's got some stuff on him. He's got two bits of timber, some shaving cream and a lighter. What about Ross? What's he, what's he peddling? Oh, he's got a screwdriver. Okay, everybody keep in mind that Ross has a screwdriver. I definitely need that. And it's on to breakfast of day one. Everybody's moving in single file. I'm a little bit ahead of the curve. <laughs> I look a little bit eager to get my first meal and my first day in prison. I'm going to sit down here. Now, if you sit down here, look, Trot is trying to, like, sit on my lap. <laughs> I don't know why he's trying to do that. Uh, Simon also needs a comb shiv. Brilliant. I can do that for you. And he's just stuck. So let's just sit here, eat our food like a good boy. When first period comes around, I think we're going to go surf the internet and look on the black market, see what we can smuggle in. All right, there we go. Breakfast is over. We've eaten some really horrible porridge. I'm not even sure it was meant to be devoured by humans, but... It's done. But anyway, free period number one. Uh, now, I do want to check the internet because it raises my intellect because you have a few stats on your character. You have strength, which is obviously how hard you can punch. I'm assuming speed is how fast I can move around the prison. And you also have intellect as well, which actually affects what kind of things you can make. So if you don't have a high enough intellect level, I don't even think I can make the soap mace sock mace thing yet. I think I have to wait until it's a little higher. I'm going to go and just rob things out of a couple of people's desks first. This is my usual shakedown. So we need another comb for a comb shiv. Let's turn that into one of them. Good stuff. Uh, that is my desk. What about this one here? Let me see. We've got, oh, a cookie. Hello. We'll get another comb because comb shivs are a very hot commodity inside of this prison. A teddy bear. <laughs> Who's brought a teddy bear to prison? <laughs> Dan's brought a teddy bear to prison. Of course he did. Oh, I feel bad for him. He's not, he's not cut out for prison, is he? Not in the slightest. Uh, we've got a paper clip, randomly, and not really a great deal else. So I'm going to leave those in there. Uh, do I want to turn that into a shiv as well? Why not? Let's do that. I'm going to press six and on the wall, oh, that officer... 
is walking by. Officer Craig. All right. I didn't actually name the officers. I really should have done. That would have been awesome. Uh, right. So who do we need to give a comb shift to? For Daniel and for Simon. Where's either of those two? Oh, Smith's got a quest as well. It's all cracking off next evening meal. Oh, so he wants me to distract the guards. I can do that. Oh, Toby's got a mission. What do you want me to do, Toby? Hit me with it. You want me to... Oh, next exercise period. So these distractions that they ask you to do, it's literally just if you punch somebody during the exercise practice, then the cops will start running after you. Uh, oh, Simon wanted a comb shift, didn't he? Let me give that to you. Boom, $21 made. I guess they're all going to come to the mess hall, so I'll just wait for them to wander in. Was it Dan that needed a shiv? Yeah, it was. Where the hell is Dan? Oh, Ross has got a quest as well. What do you want doing? <laughs> that moron sips. Wow. All is not well within stunt, lads. Uh, that moron sips blocked my cell transfer request with some well-timed snitchery. Drop a beat down. Oh, what? You want me to kick the crap out of sips? Okay. I guess, I guess I'll have to. Oh, God. No, somebody's already getting into a fight. Oh, God. Ross and Trot are going at it. Prison guards have come in, though. <laughs> All right. Actually, now that they're down, I could probably loot their bodies without getting into too much trouble. They do tend to have a go at you, though. Maybe I'll wait until lunch is over and I can steal whatever Trot's got on his person. All right. Dan's here. Let me give Dan the shiv in the dining hall. There you go. Oh, no. Trot and Ross both got up. I can't loot either of them now. What does Simon want? What? Simon wants me to get the crap out of an officer. Pretty sure Officer Fragger. <laughs> Hold on a second. A randomly named character is called Fragger. Uh, <laughs> apparently, he fancies Simon. Ooh la la. Jailhouse romance. I don't want to break his face in. I don't think I have the ability to do that yet. I don't even have a weapon myself. I mean, I guess I could equip a comb shiv, but I don't think that's going to do a great deal. Anyway, it looks like it's time for everybody to go to work. So my job at the minute is to do the laundry. It's not the most glamorous job in the world, but it's a really quick one to do, so I don't mind it too much. Let me check the board, and we'll find out who's doing what. So Toby's the janitor. Good. Shin is in the kitchen. Nice. Uh, Ross is the mailman, and Sips is in the metal shop. Yeah, I can see that. It's very metal. It's very rock and roll. So I can give up my job if I want to, but it does help my uh, my heat if I actually do my job properly. So the way I like to do this one is I double click, I do one click, two click, and then that's that done. And I just repeat that cycle and you have the laundry done in no time. I don't know if I actually get paid money for doing this job. I don't think I do. I think I do it just to sort of keep myself busy for a little while. If I'm not stood in here, then the prison guards have a go at me. So I'd rather not get into trouble. All right, I think we're on to the last dirty pair. And both of these are guard pairs. How did they get these so dirty? They're in a pretty clean prison. Not even my, like, onesie is that messy. Oh! Oh, hello. I've never seen that before. There's a vent above the laundry room. Huh. Let me put those clothes away so I've actually finished my work. Otherwise, I won't be able to get paid. So, there's a vent there, but how the hell would I get to it? There's a cabinet that I can supposedly hide in. Can I pick up the cabinet with a right click? No, I can't. Let's go shake down the cells that are up here. Oh, God, Ross just left. Let's see what Ross has just stashed in his uh, in his desk. Some razor blades. How did they get into prison? They're not even red text either. Because items that are green text are fine. If you get taken to the infirmary because the guards either kick the crap out of you or another prisoner does, or you get sniped by the prison guards, uh, you get sent to the infirmary and anything with red text, they get taken off you. Um, but how are razor blades not on that list? That's madness. Dan's trying to muscle me out of my group with some shady tactics. He's definitely due a beaten. Oh, God. So I need to beat up Sips and Daniel at the minute. And I've still got a distraction at the exercise and at the evening food. All right, so we've got Sips and Shin are in rooms next to each other. Ooh, some chocolate. Ah, uh, I don't need it just yet. At least I know where it is for future reference. Hey, 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 hey. Back it up, Fragia. Back it up. Oh, God. What's Ross doing in Toby's room? Was he pinching something as well? Let's go pump some muscle. We need to actually, like, do some reps so we can get our strength up. Because if we've got to be beating people up, we need some biceps in order to do so. So let me just, like, quickly hop into there. All right, I've got to rapidly click Q and E. There you go. Oh, God, someone's fighting. Roid Rage, Roid Rage. Who's fighting? That was Smithy and somebody else is underneath him as well. Smithy got into a fight with someone. <laughs> oh, God. Hopefully, the shower period is coming up quickly because then I can loot those guys. Because if they see me looting people, they get really angry. So, Smith. Oh, Smith and Simon had a fight. Ah. Oh, man, I'm doing some serious weights there. What did my strength go up to? I only went up by like a tiny bit. I went up to 32. I guess that's not too bad. I went up by like six. You finally find out who's been snitching on him. Distract the guards at the next shower block. Oh, that's actually right now. Great. I'll do that in a second. 
You want a bottle of medicine off of Officer Craig? Nope. Not attacking any officers just yet. Not a chance. Oh, God. Wow. Duncan's a mean player. He's had his crew on the outside harassing his family. Sure, okay. Uh, I need to lay him out, but I'm not going to be able to do that in the shower. I do need to attack somebody, though. So, hashtag kill Toby. Yes, okay. Leg it, leg it. <laughs> Run before they catch me. Because otherwise, I'm going to get a proper beat down from the guards. They have batons. They will own my face. Oh, is he still coming for me? Hey, give it a rest. I'm trying to have a shower here in peace. Oh, God. He just, like, properly uppercut me. Oh, no. He's gone back to his normal state. All right. All right. What's Sip selling? Watch, foil, flashlight, file. Oh, God. Those two are getting into another fight. Uh, Toby's curiosity has landed him at the top of my beatdown list. Want to earn some cash? Oh. Oh, yes. Pay me any day to beat the crap out of Toby. I will be very happy to oblige. Uh, Smith is not selling much. He has a weapon. <laughs> Smith has a pillow as a weapon. It's very intimidating. I could just got this mental image now of like Smith, Trot and Ross, invite Sips over uh, to have a slumber party where they just have a pillow fight. Stunt lads, go soft. Hey. All right, it's the evening meal time. I had a mission for this, didn't I? Uh, I got a distraction for Smithy, so I can't attack Smithy by doing it. Let's attack this guy for being late. There you go, Ross. Oh yeah, all right. I've just got to leg it until I lose Ross and Officer Craig as well. Oh, God. Officer Craig gave it well quicker than Ross did. <laughs> Ross is, like, really persistent. And his name is now Yellow. Oh, God. I think that actually means that the more I attack a certain prisoner, the more pissy they get about it. <laughs> so let me just grab some food. If he now attacks me whilst the guards are looking. No, okay. All right, good. What I usually do if I need to get an item off of somebody is I check their desk, but then uh, if that doesn't have it in, I usually just get the officer to beat them down. So who do I need to get something off of? Sips, Daniel, Duncan, and Toby. God, I've got a lot of hit missions out. I need to get a weapon of sorts. I mean, I've got a comb shiv. Shall I try taking Toby out? Yeah, why not? Ball it. Let's do it. Toby, come here. Got to beat the crap out of you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, Toby hits way harder than I do. No, oh, leg it, leg it. One more hit and I'm done for. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, I'm in so much trouble if he hits me. I tell you what I could do with finding. I could do with finding a sock, couldn't I? If I can make another sock mace, I should be able to do that by now. I need to be careful. My heat is up to, like, 59%. They keep catching me in different people's cells, so they just keep having a go at me. Since when did Sips have two S's? I never noticed that. <laughs> God, some typos just absolutely passed me by. All right, what's Ross got in his there? He's got three S's now. What? There is no way I type Ross with three S's and Sips with two S's. Unless that's meant to say Sipses and Rosses, but it's missing the apostrophe. I think that's what's going down. I paid Simon good money for some deluxe toilet roll. Sure, okay. I guess I could just go check on Simon's desk. Oh, I can't take on any more favors. Right, where does Simon live? Is he next door to me? Yeah, he is. He's just there. All right, so it's roll call, so nobody's going to be here for a couple minutes. Let's just quickly... Oh, no, it's on Simon's person. I've got to beat the crap out of Simon to get that deluxe toilet roll off of him. All right, attention, please, chaps. Those do a cell shakedown. Oh, oh no, it's me. Have I got anything bad on me? I mean, I've got a comb shiv on my person. Let me just check that I don't have any red items in my bunk. No, okay, good. I'm going to test this theory. This could be bad, but... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. God, I thought I was in trouble there. So I really hope when they check my cell that they don't see the comb shiv that's on me. Let's see when he comes to my cell, Officer Craig. What happens? Oh, is he not coming in? Oh, God. No, that's good. He checked my desk. Nothing there. Oh, yes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. In the comment section below, actually, uh, leave me a suggestion for the prison name. If you come up with something that I like, I'll start using it as the unofficial term as we refer to this prison each evening. And uh, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow for day two. Then I...